To avoid hidden charges in major U.S. banks, it's crucial to be proactive in understanding and managing your account fees. Many banks impose various charges that can add up if you're not careful. By staying informed about potential fees, choosing the right type of account, and monitoring your transactions regularly, you can effectively minimize or even eliminate these hidden costs. In this video, we'll explore common hidden banking fees and provide practical tips on how to avoid them. Account Maintenance Fee The account maintenance fee is one of the most common charges that banks levy on account holders. Typically, this fee is charged monthly and is intended to cover the cost of managing your account. It can range anywhere from $5 to $25 per month, depending on the bank and the type of account you hold. For students, avoiding this fee is relatively straightforward. Many banks offer student accounts that waive maintenance fees for a certain period, usually until you graduate. To avoid this fee, ensure that you choose a bank that offers no maintenance fees or meets the requirements, like maintaining a minimum balance, to have the fee waived. Minimum Balance Fee Minimum balance fees are charged when your account balance drops below a certain threshold set by the bank. This fee can be particularly frustrating, especially if your account dips below the required minimum by a small amount. The fee can range from $10 to $50 per month. To avoid this fee, it's essential to keep track of your account balance regularly. Some banks offer accounts with no minimum balance requirements, particularly for students or those with direct deposit. Choosing an account with such terms can save you from unexpected charges. Online Banking Fee In the digital age, online banking has become a crucial service, offering convenience and flexibility. However, some banks still charge for online banking services, whether it's for accessing your account online, transferring funds, or even receiving paperless statements. These fees can range from a few dollars to around $10 per month. To avoid online banking fees, look for banks that offer free online banking services. Many banks have shifted towards promoting digital banking and thus do not charge for these services. Additionally, using mobile banking apps provided by your bank can also help you avoid these fees. Overdraft fee. Overdraft fees are charged when you withdraw more money than you have in your account. This fee is one of the most common and costly fees that banks charge, often ranging between $30 and $35 per occurrence. For students and those on a tight budget, these fees can quickly add up, especially if multiple transactions occur while your account is overdrawn. To avoid overdraft fees, consider opting out of overdraft protection services, which will prevent transactions from going through if you don't have sufficient funds. Alternatively, Setting up alerts to notify you when your balance is low can help you avoid overdrawing your account. Some banks also offer overdraft protection linked to a savings account, which can cover the shortfall without incurring a fee. Inactivity fee. An inactivity fee is charged when there has been no account activity for a certain period, usually between six months to a year. The fee is intended to encourage account holders to either close the account or maintain regular transactions. This fee can range from $5 to $20 per month. To avoid inactivity fees, ensure that you make regular transactions, even if it's just a small deposit or withdrawal. If you have an account that you don't use frequently, consider closing it or setting up automatic transfers to keep it active. Statement fee. While online banking has reduced the need for paper statements, some banks still charge a fee if you request a physical statement. This fee can range from $1 to $5 per statement. To avoid statement fees, opt for electronic statements instead of paper ones. Not only is this option usually free, but it's also more environmentally friendly. Most banks offer the option to switch to paperless statements through their online banking platforms. Debit card fee. Debit card fees can come in various forms, including fees for card replacement, foreign transactions, and even annual fees for using the card. These fees can range from $5 for a replacement card to $50 or more for international transactions. To avoid debit card fees, consider using a bank that offers free debit card services. Additionally, be mindful of where and how you use your debit card. 
particularly when traveling abroad. Some banks offer debit cards with no foreign transaction fees, which can save you money on international purchases. ATM Transaction Fee ATM transaction fees are charged when you use an ATM outside of your bank's network. These fees can range from $2 to $5 per transaction, which can add up quickly if you frequently withdraw cash from out-of-network ATMs. To avoid ATM fees, use ATMs that are within your bank's network. Many banks also offer fee refunds for a certain number of out-of-network ATM transactions each month, so check if your bank has such a policy. Alternatively, consider withdrawing larger amounts of cash at once to reduce the number of ATM visits. Wire transfer fee. Wire transfer fees are charged when you send or receive money via wire transfer. These fees can be substantial, often ranging from $15 to $50 for domestic transfers and even higher for international transfers. To avoid wire transfer fees, consider using other methods of transferring money, such as online transfers, payment apps, or mobile banking services that offer free or lower cost alternatives. Some banks waive wire transfer fees for certain account holders, so it's worth checking if you qualify for such benefits. Out-of-network ATM fees. Out-of-network ATM fees are another common charge that occurs when you use an ATM that isn't associated with your bank. These fees are typically higher than in-network ATM fees and can range from $3 to $5 per transaction. To avoid out-of-network ATM fees, stick to ATMs that are within your bank's network. Many banks provide maps or apps that help you locate the nearest in-network ATM. If you frequently need to withdraw cash from different locations, consider switching to a bank that offers fee-free access to a larger ATM network or one that reimburses out-of-network ATM fees. Insufficient funds fee. Insufficient funds fees are charged when there isn't enough money in your account to cover a transaction and the bank declines the transaction. These fees are similar to overdraft fees and can range from $25 to $40 per incident. To avoid insufficient funds fees, monitor your account balance closely, set up low balance alerts, and consider linking your checking account to a savings account for overdraft protection. Some banks also offer apps that help you track your spending in real time, which can prevent these fees. Foreign Transaction Fees Foreign transaction fees are charged when you make purchases in a foreign currency or when you withdraw cash from an international ATM. These fees can be as high as 3% to 5% of the transaction amount, making them particularly costly for frequent travelers. To avoid foreign transaction fees, consider using a credit or debit card that doesn't charge these fees. Many banks offer travel-friendly cards that waive foreign transaction fees, which can save you a significant amount of money if you frequently travel abroad. Conclusion Understanding hidden banking charges and knowing how to avoid them is essential for managing your finances effectively. While fees are an inevitable part of banking, being aware of them and choosing the right account can help you minimize unnecessary costs. For students, opting for a student bank account can offer additional benefits that reduce the likelihood of incurring these fees making it easier to manage your money while focusing on your studies. By staying informed about the various fees that banks charge and taking proactive steps to avoid them, you can keep more of your hard-earned money in your pocket, whether you're a student or just someone looking to cut down. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, then hit the subscribe button to never miss out on any of our videos. See you next time!